Now, before you cut a video, you have to have a delicious cup of coffee. It's the Propel Batwing, but this is the one that has the camera. Well, we'll just have to see about that, won't we? All right, welcome back, everybody. Here is the Propel Batwing. Nice. I like it. Anyway, believe it or not, here's the camera right there. You see that little pinhole thing right there? That's it. Right there. Right there. Okay, so there's no app for this thing. Okay, it has... It records to the uh, micro SD card slot, which is right there. So we're gonna slide a card in there real quick to see which way it goes in, up or down. Let me see here. Okay, so it's gonna go in label up. I'm gonna show you right here. Okay, so it's gonna go in that way, label up. Of course it would go in that way because you need that little ridge to get it back out of there. It, okay, it's a spring-loaded one. So that's the way it goes in there, right, like that. Now in the package, now, before I get to that, I had to actually rip this package to shreds to get this product out of the package. You know Propel, they overpackage like crazy. So I couldn't even get the, the thing, the quadcopter pulled out of there without shredding the package. Anyway, so you get a charger, a couple of batteries, right there, two batteries, some spare props, a micro SD card reader, they don't give you the card and the uh the screwdriver and then they give you these uh, little thumb sticks here if you want to change i kind of like these myself but you can put these on if you want you can unscrew these and put on these little gamepad type deals i think all propels give you that option they give you these spares of this i happen to like these sticks so i'm going to use those now hopefully the video will work okay so I'm gonna take it up there and we're gonna fly it around see how it flies and shoot some video and hopefully the video will work supposedly it says with the with videos working there'll be a red light on in here so we'll see when we get up there there's gonna be some red light on probably somewhere over here yeah I would imagine somewhere around in here whenever it's working so uh, I don't know the size of the batteries. I think they're 800s. Or 900s. One or the other. It's one or the other. 800s or 900s. And then, of course, you got the extensive amount of paperwork you get with the Propel stuff here. But there's really not uh, a whole lot to it. it the, the controller kind of tells you everything on here that you need to deal with. You got your camera button, you got your calibrate, start, stop, stunt, and speed. You know, really not uh, too much to it other than that. There's your trims there. And then you can change the channel if you got another person. So, one on channel 3, one on channel 4. So, alright guys, let's go fly it and check it out. Alright guys, we made it up here with the Propel Batwing. Oh man, oh man. I had a hellacious time getting this um, camera to work. I mean, good Lord, I must have took the damn memory card out of there and put it in 10 times and reformatted it. Okay, when that light's flashing, it means the video's recording. So let's do that. Let's calibrate it. And let's take off.
There's the third rate. Let's put it down in the second rate. Third rate's a little too snappy. I'm gonna take it outside and fly it in that third rate. Oh yeah, it flies great, man. Very snappy. Very snappy. Let me hold it still here for a second so we can shoot some video. Let me bring it back over here. So you can see the video quality. And I'll put the little timer in there too. So you'll be able to see the uh, battery life. Let's see what the flips look like. Okay. All right, well, they work. Let me see if that battery or that camera's still recording. Yes, it is. This thing, it doesn't sit still that well. It wants to jump around a lot. You know, hop and bop. So I'm gonna bring it down to the first rate to see if that'll stop that. Plus the trim is a little bit off too. Yeah, that trim is way off. There it goes. Okay, I got it. I got it settled down for the most part. That calibration didn't calibrate it too well because I'm on a perfectly level surface here. Notice on some of these toy quadcopters, whenever you do a lot of flips with them, that'll kind of throws the trim off on some on some of them sometimes. So sometimes you got to watch that. Yeah, I'd like to take this sucker over to the park. Okay, I'm gonna stop the video now because I don't wanna lose it. So I don't want the battery to die and then the video not save. So let me kill that. Like I said, this thing doesn't sit still very well. It meanders around a lot. You have to keep it moving. Keep it, keep it moving because it doesn't want to sit still at all. 
Goes this way and that way and up and down. Plus the trim's off again. Went back the other way now. Okay. Okay, so the light's on solid, so that means it's not recording. All right, guys, what are GoPros really known for? Right, quit recording for absolutely no reason, okay? And I just didn't feel like reshooting that video. It lasted about another minute, maybe 40 seconds, 45 seconds a minute, something like that. And when I went back to uh, put the you know card in, the computer and all that, it just had stopped. It just stopped recording for absolutely no reason whatsoever. So it, all GoPros do that all the way back to the three for whatever reason. And I just didn't think that that video was worth reshooting. So the full screen video is coming up here in a second.